Welcome to the Leaving Cert Biology channel. This ties hand in hand with our website, leavingcertbiology.ie, which is a platform for fifth and sixth year students in Ireland studying Leaving Cert Biology. Of course, we have our TikTok and Instagram page at leavingcertbiology.ie as well, where we offer completely free videos, tips, tricks, exam strategy and trends. And on our website, we have exam paper structure, timing, all of our completely free podcast episodes and so much more. Our aim is to support students all over Ireland. Okay, for this video, we are looking at units two chapter enzymes in my own personal opinion probably one of the most important chapters on your leaving cert biology course as enzymes can come up and has come up every single year absolutely anywhere so we're starting off with the definition for metabolism metabolism is the sum of all chemical reactions that occur in an organism metabolism is controlled by enzymes enzymes are globular proteins and they're made in the ribosome from sequences of amino acids held together by peptide bonds remember there's also fibrous proteins but enzymes are globular and they are a protein's metabolic role example then enzymes definition they're biological catalysts and a catalyst is a chemical that alters the rate of a reaction without being used up itself enzymes have a specific 3d shape and they will only react with one substance enzymes have a specific unique site called their active site um, so let's have a look at these metabolic reactions. There are two types that we need to know, anabolic and catabolic. Anabolic reactions are going to combine smaller molecules to form larger ones and energy is going to be required to do that. So we need to know anabolic reactions in an animal and in a plant. So in a plant photosynthesis, in an animal protein synthesis. Then we have catabolic. These are breaking down large complex molecules into smaller, simpler ones, and this releases cellular energy. Example, digestion in animals or respiration in both plants and animals. Remember, a cat never built anything, so catabolic breakdown. The induced fit model is how enzymes work. So the substrate combines with the active site of an enzyme. Each substrate is specific or unique for the enzyme. When it combines, the active site changes shape slightly, converts the substrate into products, the products leave, the active site goes back to its original shape and is ready for the next substrate to enter it. Remember, one substrate unique to the active site of an enzyme. Specificity then, do not use the word specific in your answer. This means that an enzyme will only convert one type of substrate into a product. Remember, each enzyme has a unique active site. It will only combine with one particular substrate. Factors then affecting enzyme activity. These are your two mandatory experiments out of the four for enzymes. pH, all enzymes have a specific pH at which they work optimally. This is called their optimum pH. They work most efficiently at this. Different enzymes in different parts of the body have different optimum pHs. For example, pepsin in the stomach is two. Amylase in the mouth is between seven and eight. Number two is temperature. All enzymes have a specific temperature at which they work at their most efficient rate called their optimum temperature. Enzymes in the human body work at 37 degrees celsius except for the test days is 35 plant enzymes work best to 25 degrees celsius and denaturation occurs above 60 or below zero now denaturation means that the active site of an enzyme loses its shape permanently and therefore it will no longer function because the substrate can no longer fit it so you can denature an enzyme by higher low temperatures or an incorrect ph Immobilized enzymes then, your next experiment are enzymes that are attached or fixed to each other or to an inert material. Inert means unreactive. You can immobilize enzymes physically or chemically and in your experiment you immobilize them using sodium alginate. Advantages, do not say they're cheaper, not acceptable. They can be reused, they can be recovered and cleaned at the end of a process. Faster, immobilized enzymes are more stable and work for longer. Then we have uses, so penicillin acylase is an expensive enzyme that is used to make different forms of antibiotics. And then we have lactase is used to turn lactose into glucose. So if you have another use from your own classroom, perfectly fine, you can use those. Mandatory experiments I've said to investigate the effect of pH or investigate the effect of temperature on the rate of enzyme activity. To prepare and examine immobilized enzymes, note that there's two different procedures for those and to investigate the effect of heat denaturation on enzyme activity. If you'd like to see me cover these in another video, please let me know. Recap then, define enzymes. So enzymes are proteins, they are biological catalysts, remember? 
Then our next one, state the nature, folded shape and functions of enzymes, explain the role of enzymes in plants and animals, explain the effects of pH and temperature, range on the rate of enzyme activity, bioprocessing with the mobilized enzymes, state the procedure and advantages and use in bioreactors. Please like, subscribe, share your comments and suggestions for future videos and head on over to leavingcertbiology.ie for more.